misinterpret the Quran. Uh, here, Jamie Dimon totally misinterprets Adam Smith. I mean, he selectively reads uh, books on economics to support his maniacal psychosis. Um, they go to, uh, s terrorists might go to madrasas. Uh, Jamie Dimon and his crew go to the Ivy League schools, uh, which are the madrasas of our era, who teach them uh, economic models that are dangerous and uh, fanatical. He's willing to kill himself and others for his beliefs. Uh, so he has no compunction about putting his entire society or himself at risk by pushing weapons of mass financial destruction, as Warren Buffett calls them, derivatives. He's going to blow himself up, kill himself and anyone around him. So he's just a terrorist with a nice suit. Uh, initially, he was very anti-Bitcoin. Then he uh, came around a little bit. Uh, now he's a little bit more pro-Bitcoin because the market's moving against him. And since he has no morals or ethics or any kind of soul, he's just going to go with the market. He's just like um, a dead fish will go with the current, <laughs> right? He's not going to swim against the current because he's inside, he's dead. He's a parasite. He's a tapeworm <laughs> on society. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll spare you my, my Jamie Dimon, the tapeworm impression, uh, because it's too vulgar. But just to give you an idea, well, but yeah, you know. It's pretty sick. <laughs> we'll move on. You know, we've been doing our show for like 1,300 episodes, and this is kind of the reaction we get. People are understanding that the enemy are the banksters, and it's not the concocted skirmishes, you know, the, the, war, the war, the scapegoating that goes on uh, right now. You know, when, when the, re, when the re, uh, Democrats were in charge, you remember the Muslims were the, uh, the enemy. And now that the Republicans are charged, the, uh, the, the Russians are the enemy. So it's all bull um, The enemy are the banksters. Uh, that's our common enemy. So we got to get above the, the parochial regional nonsense and scapegoating and bigotry. Uh, Wachovia, $380 billion in drug money for Mexican. Of course, they were bought by Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, big position by Warren Buffett. Uh, Wells Fargo caught recently going into millions of customer accounts and stealing money. You know, they get a slap on the risk. The, the price of fraud and terrorism in America is roughly you get penalized 10 cents on every dollar you steal. That's the penalty. That's the business model. What do you think of that? So he is so right, and this is why I'm investing in cryptocurrency. We have a parasite, and the parasite has been growing. If you look at the GDP for banking, it especially once um, Bill Clinton deregulated uh, and passed a bunch of pro banking acts and it's obviously continued with other presidents but banks and derivatives and all these financial products are making more and more money and what is it doing it's screwing the consumer over um, our middle class is shrinking our middle class is dying and this is not just in the US this is around the world and where is the money flowing to Obviously, it's going to uh, select billionaires like Jeff Bezos, but a big part of this parasite, and at least with Bezos, he's creating a product and a company, um, but banking is just stealing money literally out of your account. And anyone who has a banking account can attest to this. You know, there's so many fees. And for me, I actually avoid paying the fees, and I will call and ask the banks to remove the fees, but it doesn't matter. Even if you're super tight and you you avoid you know the fees for overdraft or whatever which i think is impossible everyone eventually pays some sort of fee then you have the credit card fees the three percent and like i said it's not you they're charging they're charging a merchant but it's obviously passed on to the prices if you want to send money uh the, your entire retirement the 401k it's it's being put into money funds where obviously once again banksters are taking a cut taking a fee so it's just an unfortunate system that um, can obviously become a lot more efficient. Now, I don't think the banking system should be completely removed, but the fees and the fact that they can commit, uh, and, and like I said at the end, where they were literally stealing money from people and they have to only pay 10 cents on the, the dollar of the money they steal, um, all of this is going to basically occur less with the adoption of cryptocurrencies. With cryptocurrencies, there's no Jamie Dimons, there's no greedy CEOs that have schemes like this to basically rip people off. It's just numbers, it's math. And 
because of this, it's going to force the financial system to become way more efficient. Uh, a great example of this is Robinhood. Uh, Robinhood now charges zero fees. If you haven't had a chance, definitely check it out. Um, I have a link below in the video. But this is going to force other bankers and other financial uh, entities and uh, even brokerages like Coinbase to lower their fees. It is kind of ridiculous that uh, you know to buy ten dollars of crypto, Coinbase is going to charge me two three bucks. It just doesn't make sense. That's <laughs> as an investment, it's just stupid. And like I said, it's all digital, so it's not like they're paying for more labor. It's just being parasitic and the advent and the creation of crypto um, will really help prevent the bankers from defrauding us the people but let me know what you guys think uh really like max kaiser highly recommend you follow him on youtube and i will talk to you guys soon